Hey, welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. Today I swapped out the Culligan drinking water faucet for a Glacier Bay drinking water faucet. And I'll show you how I did it. So what we have here is a reverse osmosis water faucet that I have to change because it is leaking. And I have shut off the water to the, to the faucet. I shut off the water supply at the tank and I'm going to show you exactly where I did that because you want to shut the water off before you change any lines or anything. All right, so our water tank is down here in the basement and here's the water valve right here at the bottom and I shut it off there. I have seen some where the valve is on the top. But there will only be one valve you just come down look around your tank and you'll find it so the water is shut off here and I opened up the tap upstairs to release any water pressure in the line all right I have a couple rags in place to catch any water and I have a bucket when I disconnect the line in here it's hard to see but when I disconnect the line up in there I'm going to just grab the line and put it in the bucket Okay, I have the line off, it's in the bucket, and you can see the water's running out. There's very, very little water that dripped down, so whatever came down, the towel got, and then I just wiped it up here like this. Very easy to do, and I'll show you how that connection works, how to get this line off when I take the tap out. Okay, I'll show you on the new faucet here how that supply line comes out. So that's a plastic tubing, it's a quarter inch tubing that fits right into here. And it'll be like this when the tube's in it. It'll kind of stick out like that a bit. All you do is you push up on this fitting here. Just push it up while you're pulling your quarter inch tubing out at the same time. And that'll do it. And then when you install the plastic tubing, you just stick it in there and it'll lock in place. All right, so I didn't install this Culligan water faucet. So what I did was I took the screws off the top and this pulled right out of the hole. So what you have here is a couple screws, those anchor type screws that holds all this in the mount of this uh, faucet in, and it's gonna be different from the new one. I didn't know, I didn't install this one, so this is what I figured out because there was no nut and washer at the bottom of the hole under the sink. So this is how it comes off, it's just anchored. Alright, we are replacing the Culligan water faucet, drinking water faucet, with this Glacier Bay 3000 series. Now, you may want to look at your instructions, but in case you don't, you have to remove this, the nut, the washer, and the spacer first. So this might be a little bit snug. Yep, so we'll just re undo that. Put that there. Don't forget what goes first. Okay, wash your nutter off, and here comes the spacer. Now I'm going to put this down into the hole here, and this will go underneath as well to hold the faucet snug to the bottom of the countertop, and I'll show you everything. All right, now first we'll just put this down here, like this. And I'm gonna mount it this way because I thought if I mounted it this way and we have a turn like this, say you want some drinking water, this could interfere with your cup, depending on the size of your cup. So I thought I'll just replace it with the handle on the outside of the sink. And you just have to go like this, like forward and back. So we'll go underneath and we'll install this Then we'll put the spacer, the washer and the nut. And then we'll use it. We'll hook up the water line with this after. All right. So what I've done is I've moved the bucket over here and I moved the line into there so that any water that continues to come out of the tube will go into the bucket. So I have room to work. Now I'll take a quick look under here. I don't know how good the lighting will be. But basically, you're just hooking up, you're just going to mount that faucet 
to the countertop. And I won't be able to show you all that, but I'll show you the end result. There's no way I can hold a camera under there and do this work as well. Okay, my drinking water faucet is now installed. And because of my application, I didn't need this spacer. Yours will probably be different, but with my application, which was a weird one, it didn't need it. So now it's the, the washer underneath here and the nut are all in place. This is nice and solid. So now we're going to go put our water line connection on. So what we're going to do first is we're going to put some plumber's tape on the threads of this down here, this faucet, and then we'll put this on. Now we're going to install the plumber's tape on those threads and we're going to put our water connection on. All right, the water supply line is hooked up and it, I threaded on that connection and slipped the water line supply inside the hole. It's a quick connect, so you just slip it in and give it a little tug, not hard, just pull on it a little bit to make sure that it's in place properly. And uh, then you want to check for leaks. So what you want to do is you want to go turn on your water supply, which is down at the tank downstairs in my basement. Yours may be, you may have a valve up here. And uh, check for leaks. And if you have any leaks, shut the water off again and check your connections again. So I'll show you how it works. Works really good. There's no leaks at all. And the water pressure is amazing. So there may have been, if you got light water pressure in yours, maybe it's got something to, to, to do with your current uh, tap that you were using because this water pressure is amazing in this new one. So I must have had some blockage in there somewhere. Well, that was a fairly easy job, except for crawling underneath the sink, which is never easy. Glad I'm not a plumber. But anyways, if this video helped you in any way, please leave a comment below, hit the like button, and for sure, subscribe. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next video.